Last Friday, old mate here at the Backyard Tech Channel upended his network, overhauled it, and decided to go from using Zentiel to Neth Server, which I should have done in the first place. And it came up like a dream, a few foul ups in between. Then I completely botched it and reinstalled it and configured it the way I should have configured it initially. Well, some more configuration is done and I'm inching closer to getting it ready to run as an FQDN for my private network here at home. But I've also done some other stuff to it. Let's have a bit of a sticky beak. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Well, I'm inching closer to getting this thing ready to run some sort of FQDN. I'm still umming and ahhing whether or not I do it as an Active Directory or LDAP. Um, that's my decision. Um, but I've got to say, I am absolutely loving this. Um, I should have gone to it initially. But uh, as you can see there, I've got to enable my backups. I can do that. Um, I have the ability to do that uh, very soon. This is my green zone setup so far, except the red network showing up. But as you can see, I've now got everything set up, including NTOP, which as you can see, I can see exactly what I'm, what's happening where. And this is much better than what Zentiel could give me, um, which I'm absolutely wrapped about. You know, I can uh, have a look at all my devices and everything. I now have Nextcloud installed. Now it's installed locally at the moment. I've obviously got to set it up so I can get out, but as you can see there, I've got some folders and everything. Um, of course, I can share this over the network, which is fairly easy to do um, I've also got to connect it up to um, my NAS drive um, I want to thank uh, Johan uh, last night telling me that I can it, it will uh, propagate out so I will be getting my NAS drive connected to it um, in the coming days two terabyte NAS drive um, which I'm happy about so I've got Nextcloud set up um, I've got my IPS done, um, which is good. Intrusion prevention systems done. Firewall, I haven't configured that yet. I still have to do that because obviously I'm going to need to do some port forwarding for Nextcloud and NTOP, etc., which I can I can do myself. Um, software centers all up to date now. Apparently. Um, and I haven't been able to confirm it yet either, and I'm, I'm hoping uh, they will do it, although I'm, I'm unsure yet if I can find it. You may or may not be able to read that, but as you can see, Neth Server Manager based on Cockpit. Now, that's the new server manager, but as you can see, it's still in alpha mode, and I don't really want to use it yet. Um, I've basically got everything in. I'm still aiming and airing whether I do DPI. I probably won't need it, um, frankly. Um... I've got all my logs are working properly now too. I've configured them all up. They were pretty easy to organize, except if I can find it. Um, 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 I don't think I've got it yet. Oh, excuse me. Um, no, I do. Oh, that one's not working properly. The HTTPD error logs are not working properly. I've got to fix them one way or another. Fail to ban. I've still got to organize the fail to ban system um, as well. NTOP, as I said, I've got this working beautifully. Um, you can see here, I can go to my interfaces, which is the green interface. 
I can go to flow and you can see there um, I'm actually pretty happy with it all uh, next cloud the 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 one thing I loved about putting next cloud into this which made it so much easier was I added the files so I, I added the app and then I just had to log in there was no funky configuration there was none of that I just had to log in and it was done so I've got to configure next cloud from external I can do that down the track but at the moment I just want to get it up and going so that's my end top it's all passworded as per um, uh, as per I need it to be which is good the um, shared folders etc and the users and groups I have not done yet um, I'm still umming and ahhing between these two now in theory I should use LDAP because I have only got one Windows machine and we all know how to get Windows to work with an LDAP it's LD, LDP out of command line um, I'm sure everyone's done it um, before um, I'm not gonna really I'm sort of stuck between these two okay LDAP's easy uh, Active Directory is easy for Windows because we all know how to join Windows to an Active Directory. I mean, I know. Um, and as I said, doing it with LDAP, we know you go into Command and go LDP. So, and assuming your TLS is right. Um, what I must say is Net Server is brilliant. It's absolutely, I'm absolutely blown away by it. Um, I've obviously got to change the FQDN of this thing from myhost.example.com because I don't like using that, but I've, I've got to figure that out uh, in time. The SSH is done, uh, the TLS, the trusted networks. Now, the other thing is I can actually um, get a let's, de let's Encrypt certificate for this whole thing. Now, if you use CentOS or Fedora or Red Hat, they do support getting Let's Encrypt for these for the interfaces. So I think that's fantastic. I really think that's great, Let's Encrypt. So I'll be doing that for the server certificates. And as I said, if you know Red Hat very well, you'll be all right. I must say, just with this running as a DHCP DNS server on the green zone, so far, um, marked improvement. My network runs like I want it to. I don't have any hang-ups, hassles, or other bits and pieces that I shouldn't have. Um, I need to find my backup hard drive, because as you can see here, it wants to do a backup. So that's both a data backup and a config backup. Now, I've already done the configuration backup. And restoring it from the backup again if you know how to use Red Hat server or um, CentOS server you know you can do that um, I've got the updates fixed I've got the software center all fixed up I'm not having any of those issues that we were having initially regarding the yum system um, I tell you what uh, yeah this is absolutely I, I cannot get over how good this has been. Um, as you can see there, nearly half the memory is being used, but you've got to remember I do have a lot running, and it's still very responsive, though. It's still very responsive. Um, so, I can't complain. In any way, shape, or form, I cannot complain about it. So there we go. There's my Nest server update, guys. So as I said, I've got NTOP running. I've got NextCloud running. Um, I can share it, which I will do once I've got some other bits and pieces all sorted out with everything. Um, and as you can see here, I can you know add it to favorites, download, delete it. Um, I can share it. Um, that's easy to do. Um, you know all this type of stuff obviously that's going to be shared directly to me privately but 
to have all this up and running and the configuration of this is so easy all right next clouds configuration is very simple very simple indeed um, I didn't even have to read the manual to do the internal LAN configuration because they just make it so easy to do. Um, so there we are. Kudos to the developers of Neth Server because I think, at least from old mate's point of view, to be honest, um, this is just a great little network operating system. Um, as, as, as they say on their website, it's designed for Linux enthusiasts and small to medium-sized businesses and look i think it's fantastic um but i've still got to figure out whether i do ldap or ads um i will f decide that myself um ldap is probably easier considering the number of linux machines i run um and only one or well, two th two windows machines all right one windows 7 vm and windows 10 so setting up active directory just for those windows pcs is essentially a waste of time when the majority of my operating systems around the house are linux based as well as obviously um ghost bsd so i am leaning towards ldap but I have to make my mind up and I haven't done that. I mean, I can do Samba to LDAP anyway. We all know how to do Samba to LDAP. Um, I've only done it once and I cannot remember how to do it. So I need to remember how to add Samba to LDAP so that I can get the shared partition coming off the hard drive <laughs> um, so I can access, you know, um, all this stuff. So there we go. Quick net, net server update there for you guys. As I said, it is going to be quiet here today. That is it for the day. I will catch you tonight for the uh, Tuesday edition of the Backyard Tech Channel Livestream Conversations. Enjoy your Tuesday, or at least try to, and uh, I will catch you later. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.